Microsoft's Windows 7 has been out for around three months. To talk about how the OS is doing, we're talking to Chris Barra and Eric Sandine on The Bottom Line. Save time and money by skipping business trips and using GoToMeeting. Visit gotomeeting.com slash tech podcast and get 30 days for free. In a little over three months, Windows 7 has managed to grab about 10% of the computer market. Chris, has Microsoft made everyone forget about Vista? In a word, no. Um, being on uh, a Chicago uh, commuter rail as I am, I get plugged er or I get uh, approached by people every day on the train, uh, asking me about Windows 7. Is it going to be better for them than Vista that they have or XP that they have? And quite honestly, there are a lot of people out in the real world um, who are um, either XP or, more importantly, Vista users who are still suffering in pain. Um, it, I, I hate to say that it is the Windows me of the um, uh, new millennium, but it really, really unfortunately is. It, and it's something that they've had a very difficult time shaking, in my personal opinion. Uh, with uh, the latest uh, round of uh, uh, updates that are, that are set to hit uh, on uh, Patch Tuesday, there's, uh, what, 13 bulletins with 26 uh, vulnerabilities. Um, Honestly, there's a lot there that still needs to be done, and Microsoft's got a long road to hoe. Eric, even with Windows 7 success, Windows 8 rumors keep popping up. Why do you think Microsoft's so quick to move on from such a successful product? I, I, I think one of the reasons is just the fact that the technologies are moving really quickly at this point. We're getting, you know, uh, Intel's coming out with brand new generations of processors. Uh, hardware's getting faster. We have solid state drives coming out. Uh, the implementation on 7 for like things like touch and things like that aren't exactly as good as they could be and they might be trying to like develop an operating system that has all of those capabilities uh, built in a little bit better and a little bit more hardware friendly with, with the newer generations of hardware that are coming out. Chris, well, why do you think Windows 7 succeeded when Vista had such a poor reception? What, what is different about 7 uh, when compared to something like Vista? People were really, really ready for the upgrade this time. Um, everybody, yes, they were wanting to see some sort of an improvement from Windows XP when Vista came out. But uh, Vista really tumbled and stumbled out of the gate with all of the driver problems that they had. Um, Microsoft really kind of took a step back, really approached this from a Windows XP perspective. Most of the world, most of the enterprises out there are really using Windows XP, nobody uh, ever really adopted Vista. And what they did was they, they, they uh, built on uh, the, the more stable driver base that they had over time achieved with Vista. And once they got it out of the gate, everybody was ready this time. Everybody was looking at me again on the train uh, downtown through my own site, uh, um, itechurate.org, as well as just another mobile monday.com and saying, what about it? Is, is it? is it really going to be better? Yes, it is, and I think they've done a very good job. Uh, Microsoft scored a big one uh, out of the gate with this. Eric, how important was the public beta phase of Windows 7? I mean, I think people could be testing this for months, way before it was even officially available. I know I've tried a couple of release uh, candidates of it, and it was pretty stable. How important was that beta phase? I, I think the release candidate was kind of important, especially for this release, because, you know, as they're trying to show people that it is better than Vista, and it is, you know, much easier to use, and much more friendly, and much less crash-prone, uh, you know, when they released the, the release candidate out, I mean, it, it came out to the tech community, and everybody in the community was probably, you know, using it or things like that, and it was so good that, I, I mean, I was putting it on people's machines, even though I knew it was just the release candidate, just to get them off Vista. I mean, it was a great product, and it got a lot of the hype out there really quickly. All right, guys, I think we're out of time. Thanks to Chris Sparrow from JustAnotherMobileMonday.com. And another site, what's that site? iTechU.org. And TechWee's own Eric Sandine. If you, the viewer, agreed or disagreed with anything that we said, let us know in the comments. There's a link. It's on screen right now. Join the conversation. I'm Aya Zaktar, and we'll see you later. Services provided by Rundown Creator. Big League Production, small producer price. RundownCreator.com.